7.08 left to go in the halftime break. Actually, more like 10 minutes as once that clock winds down, they'll add three more minutes on once the team gets back onto the field. So we've got about 10 minutes left to go in the halftime break. Let's take this opportunity to recap the first half action. Valentine took the opening kickoff. Sean Combs took, uh, took it away uh, on an interception, set the Mustangs up at the Valentine 30-yard line with 10 minutes and 25 seconds to go. Ethan Yanni crashed across the goal line with 8.06 left to go in the first quarter. And the two-point try and the PAT, actually two-point try with the penalty, forced the Mustangs to try a PAT. That was no good. And the score st stood at 6-0. to zero. Valentine punted Mustangs, turned it over on downs at the Valentine 4. Valentine couldn't do anything with it. Gave it back to the Mustangs. Mustangs had it at the Valentine 15 and turned it over on downs. At the 10, Valentine took over and they were forced to punt. The Mustangs then took over at the Valentine 23-yard line with 10 minutes left to go in the second quarter. And Talon Peeper went in from one yard out. And the two-point conversion was good on a pass from Morgan Holbert to Jared Nelson, making it 14 to nothing with just under seven minutes left to go in the half. Valentine was forced to punt again. Mustangs punted as well. Valentine punted one more time before the Mustangs ran out the clock. And so Valentine unable to really do anything at all on offense. Uh, we could add up the yardage there, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't amount to 50 yards of offense. It's been an outstanding defensive effort by the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. The Mustangs, for their part, on offense have had the ball in excellent field position for most of the first half. They turned it over on downs twice uh, inside the 10 yard line, once at the four and one once at the 10. They did come away with two touchdowns and they lead it 14 to nothing. So a good first half by Gordon Rushville as they'd like to send the Valentine Badgers home with their first loss of the season. These two teams got together last year in Valentine. It was a close one with Valentine squeaking out the 32 to 30 win. And that of course played in Valentine. So about seven and a half minutes left in the halftime break. We'll step aside, let you enjoy the Gordon Rushville Mustang Band. We'll be back with second half action in just a little bit here on Sheridan County Journal Star .net coverage of Mustang Football 2015. Say thanks to sponsors of today's football action. 
Come see the professional staff at Gordon Vision Center for all of your vision needs. Whether you just need a routine checkup or you're not seeing as well as you used to, they can get you back to 2020 in no time at the Gordon Vision Center. Keep your car, trade in your loan. Refinancing with Bob Alcorn of State Farm Bank could save you hundreds. Before high car payments get you down, give us an opportunity to help bring them down with great rates and no closing costs or hidden fees. Get to a better state. See Bob at 127 North Main Street in Gordon. Grocery Mart is your full service grocery store with that personal hometown atmosphere right there in downtown Gordon. Accountant Carol Child is your one-stop resource for all of your accounting and tax needs and a whole lot more. You can give her a call at 282-0842 or stop by and see her in person at 216 South Main Street in Gordon. It pays to have an accountant on your side. The First National Bank of Gordon proudly celebrates over 125 years of locally made decisions and supporting our community. Husker Auto Parts is your local CarQuest dealer, offering a wide selection of CarQuest parts and CarQuest accessories. Stop in at 221 North Main Street in Gordon and ask about their fall bulk oil sale, or you can call them at 282-2100. Family owned since 1932, Strong Insurance is your independent insurance company, offering all forms of insurance. Stop in today at 224 North Main Street in Gordon. Get out and winterize your home and yard before it's too late. Buck and the gang have everything that you need at True Value of Gordon to get you going. And come bank with the best. Bank of the West offers all banking services, including mortgages. Come enjoy our welcoming atmosphere the coffee pot is always on. Tipped it over. What did I do when I tipped it over? There, now we're back. Well, kind of. What the? So two minutes and 20 seconds left before the kickoff of the second half. Glad to have you along with us. As we're just about ready to get football action underway here in the second half. So we're working with the working with our router here, trying to keep our signal from dropping out. We argue with uh, our equipment a fair amount, as you folks all know. Glad to have you along with us and bear with us as we uh, try to give you the best best picture and the best signal that we can inside a minute now before the kickoff of the second half. We'll step aside one last time and be ready to get third quarter action underway here from Gordon.
So we are just about ready to get this third quarter underway. They've got the lights on here in Gordon, and it's going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous evening for the finish of this game here. Take a look and see if we can get an update on our temperature here. Well, still saying 89 degrees, but it's significantly cooler than that as we're ready to get this one underway. High spinning kick. That's going to come down at the 29, and that one's muffed by the Mustangs and fallen on quickly. An alert play that time. We've got to see who that is. That's Carson Hinn with the quick thinking. He pounces on that loose football and salvages some valuable field position for the Mustangs. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Ball on the 21-yard line of the Mustangs where it'll be first and 10. So the Mustangs played with great field position in that first half. Starting at their own 21 to start the third quarter here. Morgan Holbert under center. Talon Peeper comes in motion. Toss play to Peeper coming around the right side. He's got some blockers. Now protection breaks down, and he's going to be lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Number six, Morgan Holbert Valentine number strung that one out well. Peeper. He goes around the right side for a small short gain. He's knocked down in here by number three for the back. They're going to say no gain on the play. It'll be second down and ten. We'll give him a yard. Well, maybe not quite a yard on the play. It'll make it. Well, give him a yard. Call it second and nine. So second down and long. Now they're going to say he gained a half a yard on that play. So the Mustangs back to work here early in the third quarter. Valentine crowding that line of scrimmage. Child comes in motion. Toss play left side to Shane Child. Now he breaks it outside. He's got the 20, 25, cuts it up inside across the 30 and out of bounds. He's going to be very close to first down yardage. Going to depend on the spot. I think he's going to be just about a half a yard short. And it'll bring up third down. Third down and less than one. Noah Erklund and number 22, Wyatt Hitchcock. We got third and looks like about, well, we'll call it a yard. And a big thanks to... Hayden Hoos, our camera operator here this evening. So it is third down and one. Peeper in motion. Toss play right side to Peeper. Got some steam moving forward, and I think he's got the first down, but not by much. Maybe by a half a yard is all. They'll take a look at it, and they'll move the chains. So they got just enough that time for a fresh set of downs. And it's been all toss plays to, uh, so far here in the third quarter for the Mustangs. So first and 10 Mustangs, ball at their own 32-yard line. And now we've got motion and all kinds of problems here. Flags come down. See what the call is. We had a Valentine Badger in the Mustang backfield. Not sure if he came across on his own or if he was drawn off. And we're going to say offsides, Valentine. That'll yeah, cost him five yards. Badgers. There haven't yeah, been a lot of penalties in this game. It's been a well-played game for the most part. And that uh, makes it first and five for the Mustangs with 10.26 to go in the third quarter. Holbert, give is to Child, cuts it up inside, 40, 35, 45, 50, 45, 40, it's a foot race to the end zone, St. Child's all the way home, baby, touchdown, Gordon Rushville Mustangs. Nice cutback move that time by Shane Child, and he took it to the house, 10.06 left to go in the third quarter, and it's 20 to nothing Mustangs. That was a 63-yard run by Shane Child. 63 yards on the touchdown scamper that time by Shane Child. And now the Mustangs will go for two with the 20-0 lead. They give it to Peeper, and he's going to be brought down short of the goal line. Morgan Holbert 
hands it off to number 30, Taylor Peeper. But, but the Mustangs extend that lead in the third tackle. quarter with 10.06 left to go. It's the Mustangs 20 and the Badgers 0. Jay Stephan. 10.06 left in the third quarter. We have Gordon Rushville Mustangs, 20. Valentine Badgers, zero. New Holland is the undisputed leader in hay tools. We give farmers a wide range of innovative equipment that increases efficiency and productivity all year round. Because to us, smart means providing a smooth, clean cut with faster dry down plug-free conditioning and superior bale density. And smart means leaving less hay on the field to feed more livestock in less time. The gold standard has been raised. Visit your local New Holland dealer today. The kick comes down to Valentine, and it'll be returned out across the 30-yard line. And that's where Valentine will take over. That would be Dylan Lurz. Gene, go get Jordan. Number 15 for the Mustangs in on the tackle. The Trace Bagan. So Valentine takes over at their own 31-yard line. Number three, Rick Conroy. The ball's on the 32-yard line. With 10 minutes and one second. Left to go here in the third quarter. Valentine comes out with one wide receiver to the left and two to the right. Two backs with O'Keefe in the shotgun. And that's not O'Keefe, and that snap is over the quarterback's head and all the way back to the 15-yard line. This is Jordan Kelber in there at quarterback. He replaced O'Keefe late in the second quarter. Back in there to start the third quarter, and now Kelber comes out. That drops the ball back to the and we'll see who we've got coming. You know, this is Kelber who just ran over to the sideline to get the play. 9.35 to go, third quarter. Mustangs lead this one 20 to zero. They've now got it second down and 20 plus yards to go. Call it 21, according to the scoreboard. So now they'll work with a bunch formation of receivers tight to the right side. One back in the backfield with Kelber. Kelber drops back, looks off the right side. Now he's under pressure. Going to throw one long, heaves it down there, and overthrew everybody that time. Incomplete. That's It'll be third down. Kelber attempts to pass down the field, but it falls incomplete. Sorry. That'll make it third and 26 for the Badgers from their 15-yard line. So 9.06 to go, third down and 21 for the Valentine Badgers. The ball all the way back at their own 15-yard line. Kelber runs over to the sideline, gets the play, and now back into the huddle he comes. So two wides to the left, one to the right. That's Hitchcock off to the right. Two backs in the backfield with Kelber. Kelber takes the snap under pressure. And he flips that uh, little shovel pass ahead to Hitchcock, I think is who that is. And he runs ahead, but he's going to be well short of the first down. Kelber under heavy pressure that time, flipped the shovel pass to Hitchcock, and he's up to the 35-yard line, but it'll bring up fourth down and about six yards left to go. Down in there by number 21, Shane Child. So a well-designed play that time, but they come up short. Fourth down and six now for Valentine, and it looks like they might be going to go for it here. Now they're going to call a timeout, and they're going to talk this one over. 8.29 left to go in the third quarter. It is Gordon Rushville 20 and Valentine 0. Hens Home Furnishings reminds you to come and com see their completely remodeled store. New items are arriving daily. They have a full line of appliances, sofas, recliners, mattresses, and much, much more. And if you don't see what you're looking for, they can get it for you. They also offer free local delivery. Remember, every dollar you spend locally keeps money in our community. 
That is Hens Home Furnishings, downtown Gordon. Ready to get back to football action here. Eight minutes and 29 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Mustangs holding the 20 to nothing lead. And it's fourth down and seven and now the Badgers will decide to drop Hitchcock back there and punt this one away. Hitchcock has done an outstanding job this evening punting. And Shane Child, the single deep back for the Mustangs. Another good punt. This time it's heading down the right sideline. That one's going to roll out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. And the Mustangs will take over. They're going to mark it right at the 20. So the Mustangs take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line for their second possession of the second half with 8 minutes and 21 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Come see the professional staff at Gordon Vision Center for all of your vision needs. Whether you just need a routine checkup or you're not seeing as well as you used to, they can get you back to 2020 in no time at the Gordon Vision Center. 8.21 to go, third quarter. Mustangs back on offense. And ready to go to work. Morgan Holbert under center. Corby Campbell in motion. Toss play to Campbell right side. He's got blockers. And he's got some room to run now. Good for gain out there for about six or seven yards. He had a whole convoy out there in front of him. Things slowed up and then able to bust it ahead for a gain of about six. So it'll be second down and four for the Mustangs inside eight minutes to go here in the third quarter. about six yards on that play. It'll bring up second and four. So second down and four Mustangs. Campbell in there at the left wing. Yanni, I believe, is back there. He has the deep back. And Peeper comes in motion. Tosses to Peeper coming to the right side. Peeper tries to get away from one tackler. Can't do it. And he's dragged down by the collar behind the line of scrimmage. And now Peeper is hurt. And that should have been a horse collar tackle that time as it was obviously had a hold of the back of his jersey. And Peeper, I think, maybe got an ankle rolled up on as he's on the, on the field here and, and in some pain as he's grabbing that left ankle. Now he's up and he'll get off the field and hopefully that's not too severe. So a loss on the play that time of about four yards brings up third down and seven for the Mustangs. So third down and seven. They'll give it to Campbell coming around the right side this time. Tries to split a couple of defenders, falls forward, and he'll have a short gain on the play of about one. It'll bring up fourth down for the Mustangs, and they'll have to punt this one away. Number 40 for the Badgers be Braxton Coleman. That'll bring up fourth and six for the Mustangs. Number six, Morgan Holbert, we're doing the punting. Back deep for the Badgers will be number 25. Dylan so Morgan Hill. Holbert back to punt this one away with 6.30 to go in the third quarter. High snap this time, but Holbert gets this one away. It lands at about the 50 and rolls inside the 40 and going to roll dead at the 36-yard line of Valentine. That's where the Badgers will take over. Looks like the ball's down on about the 36-yard line of the Badgers where it'll be first and 10 Badgers. So a 6-18 left to go in the third quarters. The Badgers take over first and 10 from their own 36-yard line. So first and 10 Badgers, and they'll work out of the eye this time. Wide receivers, one to each side. Kelber under center. Turn, give to the eye back. He's got a hole up the middle and now gonna be stacked up after a gain of about five yards. Number two, Jordan Kelber hands the ball off to number 25. 
we try batters. switching back to this thing? Dylan we plug it, try to reboot it, maybe? Or? He's brought down in there by number seven, Sean Combs. So and got number internet three, Rex Conroy. Yeah. Okay. He just up about five broadcast. yards on that play. It'll make it second and five. Let's see if it blows everything up here. So out of the shotgun now, Kelber hands it off to Hitchcock, and he's up ended right there, one man to beat, and he couldn't quite get around him. Gain of about a yard on the play, but he had some room to run if he could have broke that tackle. As it is, it'll bring up third down and about five. Sean Combs on the stop that time. Got just enough of him to bring him down. 5.15 to go, third quarter. Mustangs trying to get another third down stop here. Kelber comes up under center this time. Two tight ends, one wide out to each side, one back in the backfield. Kelber turns, hands it off to Hitchcock, and he is stacked up and going to be brought down. Now he breaks free, breaks a tackle, and going to be very close with forward progress. We'll see where they mark this one as the Mustangs had him stopped and Hitchcock refusing to quit. And it is a first down Valentine. Good, tough run that time by Hitchcock as he refused to be stopped. There were three or four Mustangs that had a hold of him, but he broke free and got the first down. It'll be first and 10 Badgers at the 46 yard line. On the 46 yard line of the Badgers, we're first and 10. 4 05 to go, third quarter. Badgers with their first first down of the second half. Kelber gives it to the fullback. He's got room to run, breaks a tackle, breaks another, and a third off to the races. And that was Morgan Holbert who paid the price, came over to finally bring him down. A good, tough run that time by Braxton Coleman. And now we've got a Mustang down at midfield, and I think that's Logan Belsky. And maybe we'll hope is just a cramp. And I think it's I think it's just a cramp. Looks like that's what they're doing, and, and that is Logan Belsky. And so just a cramp, and he'll be back to action in no time, I'm sure. 350 left to go here in the third quarter. Valentine Badgers on the move. Two good uh, first down plays in a row there. They've got it set up first and 10 from the Mustang 30 yard line. Keep your car, trade in your loan. Refinancing with Bob Alcorn of State Farm Bank could save you hundreds. Before high car payments get you down, give us an opportunity to help bring them down with great rates and no closing costs or hidden fees. Get to a better state. See Bob at 127 North Main Street in Gordon. Belsky up and moving off under his own power. Good to see that. And ready to get back to football action here in the third quarter. Three minutes and 50 seconds left to go in the third period. Mustangs lead this one 20 to zero. So first and 10 Valentine after the good run by Coleman has them set up at the 30 yard line of Gordon Rushville. This is the deepest penetration of the night by the Valentine Badgers. And they set up in the eye. Kelber gives it to Hitchcock up inside and brought down after a gain of about three that time. Jordan Kelber hands the ball up number 22, Hitchcock. He's brought down in there by... Oh, so they 30, spot it Taylor. at the Mustang 27-yard line. We're going to give him about four yards He's on that second play. down second and eight. Second and eight with 3.10 to go. Here in the third quarter. Two wide to the right side. They'll work out of the shotgun with the two backs. Kelber's gone the whole way at quarterback for Valentine. The give is to Hitchcock. Cuts it up inside and breaks a tackle. Spin move outside. Stood up that time by Jared Nelson. Breaks Nelson's tackle. And Hitchcock running like he's possessed as it takes several Mustangs to bring him down. Spinning 
breaking tackles all the way across the field, finally brought down after a about a two yard gain, a lot of work for two yards, but he's down to the 25 yard line of the Mustangs. It'll be third down and five. So good tough running by Hitchcock here. The last couple of minutes here of the third quarter. So that bunch set to the right side, tight to the right side, three wide receivers there, one back in the backfield. I believe that's Perriman. Toss play right side to Perriman, cuts back, makes Rhett Conroy miss, and then gonna be cut down, but just short of first down yardage. It'll be fourth down and less than a yard. He runs up to the middle and gets a yard. He's brought down in there by number 30. Fourth down and one now for Valentine. Campbell. We got, looks like it'll be fourth and one, Badgers. So fourth and one, Mustangs looking for a stop here. Valentine, this is their first sustained offensive drive of the night. And they'd certainly love to come away with points here late in the third quarter, under 1.15 to go in the third. Kelber with eye backs behind him, two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Kelber turns, gives it to the fullback, He's got the first down, and he is down finally at about the 16 or 17 yard line of the Mustangs. First and 10, Valentine. And that's Coleman. Somebody had a hold of him by the ankle and wouldn't let go, and it's a good thing because he had some room to run if he was able to break free. But it's first and 10, Valentine, with a minute left to go in the third quarter. Ball at the Mustang 18 yard line. First and 10 Badgers with the ball on the 18 yard line. And Hitchcock back in there. He's the single setback and that trips formation tight to the right side of the formation. Kelber gives it to one of those backs coming around inside, stacked up in the, by the middle of the Mustang line. No gain on the play there. Well played that time. I think that's Ethan Yanni coming out of the bottom of the pile. One of those. One of the Mustang defenders. Second down and 10 now for Valentine. Under 20 seconds to go. Kelber getting his exercise, running over to the sideline to get the play each time. Under 10 seconds. 6-5. We'll see if they get this play off. Out of the shotgun. Two wides to the left side. High snap, that one is tipped to, to uh, Hitchcock. And not sure if that was a design play or not. He just got enough of that to tip it down. Hitchcock picks that thing up and runs ahead. I think it had to have been a broken play. But it's a gain of about seven on the play, and that'll end the third quarter. At the end of three, it's Gordon Rushville 20, Valentine zero. Say thanks to the sponsors of tonight's football action. The First National Bank of Gordon, Husker Auto Parts, Strong Insurance, Gordon True Value, Bank of the West, Hins Home Furnishings, the Gordon Vision Center, Bob Alcorn State Farm Insurance, Grocery Mart, Carol Child Accountant, Gordon Superfoods, Sides and Milburn Ford, and Modern Farm Equipment along with the Sheridan County Journal Star. And remember, folks, these videos of these games stay up on our website into perpetuity. You can go back and watch them as many times as you like. If you missed a part of it for some reason or another, the entire game will be up on the website and ready for you to watch whenever you like. And they will be re-airing as well on Great Plains Communications local access channel number two. And as they say, 
in the TV business, check your local listings. Ready to get the fourth quarter underway. Mustangs with a three touchdown lead, 20 to nothing. As Kelber takes the handoff or gives the handoff to Hitchcock and he's upended finally. Mustangs get him brought down. The first guy got to him, brought him down and that has been a rarity as Corby Campbell was able to hit him high and tip him over that time. Hitchcock has running extremely well. About started uh, somewhere midway through the third quarter. Somebody really lit a fire under that young man and uh, running very hard here with 11 minutes and 33 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Brings up fourth down and about two yards to go for Valentine. So fourth and two, three wides to the right side. One back in the backfield with Kelber. Calls for the shotgun snap, rolls to his right. Heavy pressure and slips away somehow. Throws that ball to the end zone and caught for a touchdown. What a play. I think that was uh, Rhett Conroy that had him in his grasp and couldn't quite bring him down. Kelber with the presence of mind to look to the end zone and finds the receiver for the touchdown. 11.07 left to go in the fourth quarter and the Valentine Badgers are on the board. So on a fourth and three, they're able to convert. And so it'll be a PAT attempt here for the Badgers. Score is 20 to six. Oh, and we got a one of the Mustangs. And I think that is Morgan Holbert. It is Morgan Holbert. He'll trot off the field under his own power. And Carson Hinn now comes in to replace him on the special teams. 20 to six Mustangs. Valentine in to attempt the PAT. The snap, the placement, and the kick is good. It's 20 to seven. With 11.07 left in the fourth quarter, we have Gordon Rushfield 20, Valentine seven. So Valentine on the board early in the fourth quarter. Makes it 20 to seven. And this game is brought to you by agent Bob Alcorn of State Farm Insurance. Bob specializes in farm and ranch insurance. Stop in and see him at 127 North Main Street in Gordon, or you can give him a call at 282-2080. And Bob Alcorn proudly sponsors the Gordon Rushville football player of the week. Grocery Mart is your full service grocery store with that personal hometown atmosphere. That's Grocery Mart in downtown Gordon. And accountant Carol Child is your one stop resource for all of your accounting and Number tax 89. needs and a whole lot more. Give her a call at 282-0842 or stop by her office at 216 South Main Street in Gordon. It pays to have an accountant on your side. 11.07 left to go fourth quarter. We've got us a ball game. It's 20 to seven. High spinning kickoff comes down far side to Shane Child. Tries to get to the corner and gives up some ground at the 20, across the 25, and out of bounds he goes. And now Shane looks like maybe he's cramping up after he hits the sideline there. And so both these early games, warm temperatures and uh, Mustangs battling cramps here. And they'll start at their own 26-yard line with 11 minutes left to go in the game. And now Logan Belsky comes into the game. He takes the place of Morgan Holbert after Morgan had to come out after that uh, PAT attempt, or after the touchdown, actually. So Logan Belsky under center, hands it off to Peeper, tries to cut it up inside, bounces off one tackler and falls forward. And a uh, little to no gain on that play. It may have actually lost a yard on that one. So Valentine has done a good job, and now Peeper is down again as he's holding the left leg out there after he was tackled. 10.44 to go, and, and looks like a... Another cramp, so the Mustangs having a hard time staying hydrated here in these first couple of games this season. 
So while they work on him, we'll step aside. 11 or 10.44 left to go in the fourth quarter. Mustangs lead it 20 to seven. It's going to snow this winter and you need a reliable four wheel drive outfit. Be prepared with this 2015 F-150 Super Crew from Sides and Melbourne Ford in Rushville. It's loaded with features and comes with stowable loading ramps to make loading your ATV or snowmobile a breeze. You can find this and other vehicles to fill your needs at Sides and Melbourne Ford in Rushville. Gordon Superfoods is proud to sponsor Gordon Rushville Mustang football. Superfoods is a full service grocery store that carries anything you might need. Check out the full service meat department or satisfy your sweet tooth at the Sand Hills Bakery. They have tons of great deals weekly and if you don't have a rewards card, be sure to get one today. Good luck Mustangs from Gordon Superfoods. Morgan Holbert back in under center for the Mustangs after setting out for that first play. Second down and 10, Gordon Rushville. And they'll give this one off, and it's going to be a big loss in the backfield this time. It's Corby Campbell getting tripped up. And uh, the Mustangs have tried to do a, tried to run an awful lot of toss plays here coming out of the half. And uh, Valentine has done an excellent job here. They've started to figure out this Mustang offense, and now the Mustangs going in reverse for the first time tonight. It's going to be third down and long. Third down and uh, about 17 yards to go maybe here. It's a whole bundle. 9.50 to go. Third and long for the Mustangs. Holbert under center. Boots out to the right. Throws that one. Had to get rid of it in a hurry and had to throw it before Shane Child was really ready for it. He had two defenders right in his grill and had to get rid of it. And it'll bring up fourth down. Clock stops with 9.32 to go. Fourth down and about 18 for the Mustangs and they'll have to kick this one away. Eight for the Badgers will be number 22, Wyatt Hitchcock and number 25, Dylan Lurz. So Hitchcock and Lurz back deep standing at about midfield to receive this Morgan Holbert punt. 9.30 to go. In the fourth quarter, high snap, but he gets it away and a beautiful punt, high spiraling kick, comes down at midfield and that's fumbled and now picked up by Hitchcock and gonna be brought down after a very Number short gain. And another Mustang down on the field with cramps again, right at midfield. Valentine takes over first and 10 from the, the right at midfield, we'll call it the Mustang 49. Sean Combs. Nine minutes and 20 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. And that is Jared Nelson with the cramp. He gets up and he's gingerly making his way off of the field. So Jared Nelson makes his way to the sideline. And Valentine takes over. Kelber now under center, two tight ends. Gives the ball to Hitchcock, breaks it out left side. He's got some room to run. Inside the 40, cuts it outside 35. Breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, and down to the 30-yard line. And I don't know where this young man was for the first three quarters of the game, but he is a whole different player from about the middle of the third period on. He is almost impossible to bring down with one person. Hitchcock running hard, and that's a Valentine first down. And Valentine now mounting a serious threat here as they're at the Mustang 31-yard line with 9.05 to go. Mustang defense needs to rise up here. They have bottled up the Valentine offense in really good order in that first half, but having some difficulty here as Valentine seems to be finding the combination here as we work our way through the fourth quarter. Kelber takes the shotgun snap, looks right side, a little screen pass out there. That's complete, room to run, and finally gonna be brought down, but not until he gets to the 15 yard line. It'll be another Valentine Badger first down. Nice little screen pass that time. And that was 
Lyle Kate that time on the reception. Scoots up there. Yeah, and they've got it spotted at the, four, at the 14 yard line with eight minutes and 35 seconds left to go. Well, Valentine scores here and we've got ourselves a ball game. They trail it 20 to seven. But Valentine finding some offensive rhythm. Two wides to the right side, one to the left. Hitchcock at the top of the eye. Kelber turns, gives it to the fullback up inside, and he's going to score untouched. Waltz is into the end zone, and that is a Valentine Badger touchdown. That is Braxton Coleman on the score with 8.07 to go. Things get a little bit tighter here. And they'll try another PAT, 20 to 13. Number 83 will be doing the PAT after. The kick is up and it is just inside the left upright. And folks, we've got ourselves a ball game. It is 20 to 13. 20 to 14, excuse me, 20 to 14 with 8.07 left to go in the ball game. So next week we'll be on the road bringing you football action as the Mustangs travel to Bridgeport on September 11th. We'll be there to bring it all to you. And then September 18th, Bennett County comes a calling for homecoming. We'll have all of that action for you as well. Road games left at Bridgeport, at Mitchell, and at the Shadron Cardinals as the Mustangs work their way through this young 2015 football season. So the Mustangs ready to receive this kickoff, and they need to do something here. They've given up touchdowns on the last two Valentine possessions. Mustangs have had to punt in their last two possessions. So they need to find some offense here and grind some time off of that clock. So Valentine ready to kick this one away. 8.07 left to go, fourth quarter. High spinning kick comes down at the 14. This is Peeper around the right side, breaks a tackle and finally gonna be wrestled out of bounds at about the 30 yard line. So the Mustangs take over on offense at their own 30-yard line with 7.59 left to go in the ball game. They're going to actually mark him down at the 28. So first and 10 Mustangs from their own 28. They had a hard time finding their offensive rhythm here in the second half. Holbert boots out, now he tosses it back, sets it up to Campbell, that's a screen pass. Campbell with room to run, 40, 45, 50, 45, cuts it back, cuts it back again, inside the 40 and down to the 38 yard line. Great play call that time by the Mustangs as they ran an outstanding screen pass to Corby Campbell that time and Corby Gets to the end of that run, and as we've seen so many times, assumes the position, throws that leg up into the air as he's cramped up again. A nice run with a couple of cutbacks that time. And sets the Mustangs up in great field position here at the 38-yard line of Valentine. 7.46 to go, fourth quarter. Mustangs lead this one 20-14. Mustang volleyball team started the, started the season off in difficult fashion last night as they hosted the Shadron Cardinals. Shadron with uh, last year's season record, 29 and four. They came in firing on all cylinders. They swept the Mustangs in the first match of the season in straight sets, but the Mustangs look to right the ship next Thursday night. We'll be there to bring the action to you as they travel to Bayard on September 10th. So tune in at SheridanCountyJournalStar.net. We'll have that action for you. Check the website for the start time of that game. Don't have it right in front of me. 
And then we'll be on the road. Our next broadcast for volleyball after the Bayard game will be September 24th when the Mustangs travel to Crawford. We'll also be carrying the um, Gordon Rushville Triangular and I believe the Bennett County game as well as we work our way into October. So volleyball and football action both right here on Sheridan County Journal Star. Dot net. Campbell up and moving off the field under his own power. 7.46 to go. Outstanding run that time by Corby Campbell. So the Mustangs back in business. They've flipped the field position here, and they dearly love to put another score on the board. So they line it up from the 38 of Valentine. Morgan Holbert under center takes the snap. The give is to Peeper coming around the right side. They've got that diagnosed well. He gets the corner and going to be out of bounds after a gain of about two yards is all. See where they spot this. Spotted about the 40 or the 35-yard line, so it'll be a gain of about three. Bring up second down and seven. Kyle Critchfield. We're going to give him four yards on that play. It'll make it second and six. So second down and seven for the Mustangs. A ball at the 35-yard line of the Badgers. Holbert under center. Gives the ball to Shane Child, cuts it up the middle. Now breaks it outside, and he's going to gain about three. As he's brought down, it'll bring up third down and uh, about three yards to go. Badgers. So maybe call it third down and four. Six minutes and 25 seconds left to go in the game. Mustangs lead it 20 to 14. Big third down here. We'll make it five. Third and five Mustangs. So Morgan Holbert has the play, brings it in from the sideline. Mustangs have to work quickly here. Holbert under center, takes the snap, boots to the right. Throws the pass out there and just over the outstretched fingertips of Shane Child, incomplete. So with 5.59 to go in the fourth quarter, Mustangs look like they're bringing on the punt team here with the ball on the 32-yard line. And it would be a dandy place for a fake punt if you've got one in the playbook here. Fourth down and four, and now we've got a timeout called by the Mustangs. They want to talk this one over. Fourth down and four with 5.59 left to go in the fourth quarter. These are exciting times here at New Holland Agriculture. Great tractors, awesome combines, incredible hay tools, and even an award-winning self-propelled sprayer. Innovative products, and a renewed commitment to people who really appreciate field smarts. Sounds like someone like you, doesn't it? So the Mustangs, who had this game well in hand through the second quarter and much of the third, have now found themselves clinging to a six-point lead, but they've got it fourth down and about, call it a long four yards to go, closer to five probably. They're set up in punt formation. Valentine not buying it, though. They don't have anybody back deep for this. Holbert will kick it away. Kicks that one down there, and it's going to roll down inside the 10, inside the 5. Nicely done, Morgan Holbert. Valentine will have it, but they'll have it 95 yards away. 5.49 to go in the fourth quarter. So the Mustang defense had their way the entire first half, but the Valentine Badgers have scored on their last two offensive possessions. Let's see if Gordon Rushville can slow them up a little bit here. Valentine with a lot of field to negotiate. The 
And Kelber brings them to the line. Out of the eye, Hitchcock dots the eye. One wide receiver to each side. The turn, the give to Hitchcock. And he's going to be stacked up and finally brought down after no gain. Number two, Jordan Kelber. The Mustangs finally get him wrestled to the ground. Hitchcock, knee stop for a little or no gain on the play. Brought down in there by number 24. Jordan Kobe Kelber, the sophomore, has come in in relief of O'Keefe. That'll make it, we'll call it second and 10. Came in midway through the second quarter, and he's gone the whole second half here at quarterback for the Badgers. 5.14 to go, second down. And call it nine, they'll give him about a yard on that carry. So second down and nine, out of the shotgun now. Kelber calls for the snap. Looks, he's under heavy pressure. Corby Campbell's got him. No, he got rid of the football. And now we're going to have a penalty in the end zone. Not sure what that was. Corby Campbell right in Kelber's face. And after he brought him down, a flag flew in the end zone. Personal foul on Valentine. Kelber took umbrage to being tackled on that and must have said something. I didn't see exactly what happened, but it's a personal foul penalty on the Badgers. So the play will stand. It's a dead ball. It happened after the play was blown dead, I believe, and so it should be third down, and they'll mark this one half the distance to the goal. Dead ball, personal foul. Personal foul on the Badgers. The play... Play should stand, so it should be, we'll see what they do over here with the yardage marker. It is third down, so it'll be third down and about 12 to go. Ball back at the three-yard line. Under five minutes to go, clock runs. So one back deep in the backfield, two tight ends. Hitchcock split wide to the left side. Drops back to pass, looks left, throws it downfield and nearly intercepted a big collision out there as I think that was Carson Hinn back there playing that deep safety. He had a bead on it, but he was run into, I think it was Jared Nelson who ran into him. He was on in coverage on Hitchcock. And all three of them collided there. It falls incomplete. It'll be fourth down and 13 with the ball at the Valentine three-yard line, and the Badgers are going to have to punt it away here with four minutes and 31 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Ethan Yanni and Talon Peeper will drop back to field this punt. So Hitchcock has done an outstanding job tonight with the punt. This is a low line drive spinning kick. That's taken by Yanni, I think is who that is. No, uh, yeah, it is Yanni, and he just can't get any traction at all. He's gonna gain about a yard after he had to dodge three or four Valentine Badgers. Finally brought down, but the Mustangs will have tremendous field position again as they've got it on the Valentine Badger 38 yard line. For the Badgers, that'd be Jaden Owen. So four minutes and 19 seconds left to go in the game. And let's see the Gordon Rushville Mustang ball control offense go to work here. The Mustangs lead it by six, 419 to go. Holbert gives it to Yanni right straight up the middle. And that's good for a gain of about a yard is all. But it gets that clock running. And that's what the Mustangs want. Yanni finally gets up off of the pile and he'll make his way back to the huddle. Under four minutes to go now in the game. Mustangs trying to run out the clock here. Morgan Holbert taking his time, bringing the play in from the sideline. Valentine making a valiant effort here in the fourth quarter as they've scored two touchdowns here in the second half to narrow that lead to 20 to 14. Mustangs now going to take a timeout. 
Let the clock run down to three minutes and 24 seconds. Timeout on the field, Gordon Rushville. They lead it 20 to 14. And folks, make sure you say thanks to the sponsors of today's action. You don't necessarily need to buy anything, buy something every time you walk into their place of business, but stop in and let them know that you appreciate their sponsorship of these broadcasts. Those fine sponsors tonight, the First National Bank of Gordon, Husker Auto Parts, Strong Insurance, Gordon True Value, Bank of the West, Hens Home Furnishings, the Gordon Vision Center, Bob Alcorn State Farm Insurance, Grocery Mart of Gordon, Carol Child Accountant, Gordon Superfoods, Sides and Milburn Ford of Rushville, and Modern Farm Equipment, and of course, Sheridan County Journal Star. Remember that uh, all these broadcasts are available for your viewing pleasure on our website anytime, anywhere. Tune in and uh, click on a link and enjoy watching the Mustangs in action. 3.24 to go. Mustangs have it second down and nine. Ball at the 38-yard line of the Badgers. Hometown crowd exhorting the Mustangs to victory. Peeper in motion. Toss play right side. Taylor Peeper cuts it up inside. Stacked up for a loss of about a half a yard on the play. So not much room to run that time for Taylor Peeper as he came around the right side. And so it'll bring up third down and a long 10 as they're going to say that he lost about a yard, yard and a half on that play. So third and a long 10 for the Mustangs. The clock rolls inside three minutes. Nelson wide to the left. Campbell comes in motion. They fake the toss. It's Peeper up inside with a good run. He's going to be short of the first down yardage. But they faked that toss play and hand it off to Peeper coming up inside. And the run good for uh, about eight yards, it looks like. Maybe seven. And now we've got a timeout called by Valentine with two minutes and 18 seconds left to go. It'll be fourth down and about three maybe four yards to go when we come out of the timeout. Valentine trying to preserve some clock here. Mustangs will have it fourth down when we come out of the timeout. For the ball on the 31-yard line. So be sure to join us next Thursday night. A volleyball team back in action September 10th, next Thursday. They travel to Bayard. We'll be there to bring it all to you. Check it out at Sheridan County Journal Star.net. And the following night, we'll head back down into the valley as the Mustang football team will take on Bridgeport. Mustangs dearly hoping to be 2-0 when they face off against Bridgeport. That's a week from tonight. So ready to get back to football action. Fourth down and four to go for the Mustangs. 2-18 left to go in the fourth quarter. For six, Morgan Holbrook back to punt. They will line it up, and they're going to line up to punt now. And now we've got a flag comes down, and we got an illegal substitution penalty called on the Mustangs as somebody was on the field, came running off late, and that'll cost the Mustangs five yards. And that may not be the worst thing in the world here as it gives Morgan Holbert a little more room to work as he punts this one away. His last one, they were able to pin the Badgers at the five-yard line. And now the Badgers will drop a couple of guys back there to field this punt. So Hitchcock and Lurs back there to field this punt. The kick nearly blocked, gets it away. It's going to land and roll inside the 10 in down to about the six yard line. And so Morgan Holbert doing a great work with the punting that time. Again, actually, he's dropped two of them inside the 10. Valentine takes over at their own six-yard line with 2.08 left to go in the game. So Valentine 94 yards away here with 2.08 left to go and just one timeout. They've used two of them here so far in the fourth quarter. Well, they've moved the ball in the second half here from time to time. 
And we'll see what they've got in the toolbox here. Two wide receivers to each side. One back in the backfield with Kelber. Man in motion now. Kelber takes the snap, fakes the jet sweep look, drops back to pass, and it's dropped by Hitchcock right at the goal line. Trying to use some misdirection that time and set up a little screen pass, but Kelber threw a bullet right at Hitchcock, and no way he could pull that one in. It falls incomplete. It'll be second down and 10. 2.03 to go here in the fourth quarter. Mustang fans trying to exhort the defense to stand tall here. Kelber back in, checks the play. Hitchcock to the left of Kelber in the shotgun. And we've got a penalty flag here. Whistle stop action. And we'll see what we've got here. We got delay a game on the Badgers. That'll cost them a couple of yards. Starting from the six, they'll mark that back to the three. Half the distance to the goal, it'll be second down. And 13. Kelber brings the play in from the sideline. Now Hitchcock the only back in the backfield. Wide, two wide outs to each side. Out of the gun. Kelber takes the snap, stands in his end zone. Heavy pressure and knocked down. That one is, they're going to say, an incomplete pass. Rhett Conroy came off of that left end and slammed right into Kelber, but they're going to say that it was an incomplete pass. Kelber lost the ball. It went out the back of the end zone. They'll call it an incomplete pass, and so it'll be third down and 13. Mustangs dearly wanted that to be called a fumble. But as it is, it'll be third down and 13. Rhett Conroy came unblocked off that left side, and Kelber paid the price that time. So the incomplete pass stops the clock at 157, but it's third down and 13. Kelber will work out of the shotgun. And he may be here in footsteps after that big hit by Rhett Conroy. Kelber calls for the snap, looks downfield, unleashes it, and it is incomplete. Incomplete and in, intended off the right side that time. And it'll bring up fourth down. And Valentine about going to have to go for it here. They've just got one timeout left. It's under two minutes to go, 152 on the clock. Kelber's got the play and brings it in. This could be the ball game here, folks. 152 to go, fourth down and 13. Valentine Badgers at their own three yard line. They'll work out of the gun, two wide outs to each side. Hitchcock in the backfield with Kelber. Kelber takes a snap, it's over his head and out of the back of the end zone. Safety, Gordon Rushville Mustangs get the safety, 22 to 14. It was a high snap and right over Kelber's head. He's not a tall kid. I think he only goes about 5'7". And no way he could jump high enough for that one. So 22 to 14 and the Mustangs will get the football back. So Gordon Rushwell will get the ball back. They lead it now 22 to 14 with 148 left to go in this one. And Valentine with the free kick after the safety. So a little extra adrenaline by the center that time, and he hiked that one right over the head of Kelber and out of the back of the end zone. So make sure that you check your local listings. This game will re-air on Great Plains Communications Local access channel number two. Don't know exactly what the schedule is, but uh, these games will be re-aired. Great partnership we have going with Great Plains Communications. So check your local listings four times on the replay of tonight's game on Great Plains Communications. So 1.48 to go, and Valentine will kick this one off from their own 20. Mustangs 
look to get good field position here as they've got one deep back. I believe that's Morgan Holbert back there. It is Morgan Holbert back to receive this free kick and they'll punt this one away. Hitchcock puts his foot into it and fielded by Holbert and he'll take a knee at the 44 yard line and the Mustangs will now just try to run this clock out. 146 left to go in the fourth quarter. Mustangs with the eight point lead. In my excitement, I don't believe I updated the scoreboard here. We need to do that. So 22 to 14, Mustangs by eight. Valentine with just one timeout left. The Mustangs can get a first down here and salt this one away. They give it off to the on the left side and brought down after a one yard loss. And timeout called by Valentine. That's the last one of the half for the Valentine Badgers. So it'll be second down and 11 for the Mustangs with 140 to go in the fourth quarter. Good looking orange Mustang there by from Sides and Milburn Ford. Very fitting that we'd have a Mustang commercial for the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and a beautiful orange one to boot. 140 to go. Mustangs back in business here. Second down and 10. 140 to go in the ball game. Peeper in motion. Toss play. Cuts it upfield. Brought down for a loss of about one on the play that time. The but the clock three, runs three under a minute 30. And now a Valentine Badger is down. Number, excuse me, number 40, Braxton Coleman. And that's Braxton Coleman who's on the ground and, and uh, holding a knee that time, trying to get to his feet and make his way off the field. And hopefully, hopefully just a cramp. That looks like the way that they're treating it here and so we'll hope that's the case. 123 left to go in the fourth quarter. Say thanks to sponsors of tonight's action. We'll run through them one more time for you. Tell these folks thanks. You see them on the street, uh, let them know that you appreciate it. If you're out of town, shoot them an email uh, and, uh, and give, them some, give them some thanks. First National Bank of Gordon, Husker Auto Parts, Strong Insurance, Gordon True Value, Bank of the West, Hens Home Furnishings, Gordon Vision Center, State Farm Insurance, Grocery Mart, Carol Child Accountant, Gordon Superfoods, Sides and Milburn Ford, Modern Farm Equipment Company, and the Sheridan County Journal Star. And folks, it's time to get out and winterize your home and yard before it's too late. It doesn't feel much like winter right now, but it's on its way. And Buck and the gang at True Value of Gordon have everything that you'll need to get that done. Stop in and see them in downtown Gordon today. So Coleman makes his way off the field and we're ready to get things back underway here again with 1.23 left to go in the fourth quarter. So third down and about 11 yards to go for the Mustangs here. As that clock should wind, and it does. Under a minute 20 to go now, but a third and 11 for the Mustangs. Let's see what they decide to do. They'll wait and run this clock down as far as they can. Holbert not going to get under center until the back judge gives him the five-second count. And now that starts. Holbert calls for the snap, and we've got an offside call as one of the 
Valentine Badgers came across. He was keying on that motion. As Corby Campbell went in motion, he was following right behind him, and that'll cost the Badgers five yards. 58 seconds left to go in this one. And now they're going to say a, yeah, uh, illegal, uh, procedure illegal procedure on the Mustangs. On the Mustangs. So that'll cost the Mustangs five yards. So it's now third down and 15 yards to go with 58.6 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. And the clock, they wound the clock, but that shouldn't happen on an offensive penalty, I don't believe. So 55 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Mustangs facing a third down and about 14 here. Holbert under center. Toss play left side to Corby Campbell. Corby cuts it up inside and he'll have about three yards on the play. It'll bring up fourth down, but the clock now under 45 seconds. And now, see what the Mustangs decide to do here. They're gonna let this clock run down and call a timeout before they, before they try and punt this one away. See what they decide to do here. So under 30 seconds to go now. Holbert back onto the field. Mustangs will have to snap it and maybe they'll just have Holbert run around with it and run the clock out. Not sure what the count is as we've now got the five second count and a timeout called by the Mustangs with 10 seconds left to go in this game. Mustangs so 10 seconds left, 10.1. 10 10 Mustangs call a timeout here and we'll see what they decide to do. Fourth down and about, uh, well now they've moved that marker up. It's fourth down and about 13 according to the Marker on the far side of the field. Turned into an absolutely beautiful evening for football here. Started out a little bit warm, but a gorgeous night right now. Mustangs trying to go to 2-0 on the season. Mustangs changed their offensive philosophy this year with new head coach Kevin Lindholm. They've gone to this double wing offense and uh, a grinded out ball control style of offense. But it has served them well here in these first couple of games. Defense especially has looked very good here in the first couple of games. Mustangs looked outstanding here in the first half. They gave up a couple of touchdown drives here in the second half, but they've got tough when they really needed to here in the fourth quarter. 10.1 seconds left to go, fourth down for the Mustangs. And Morgan Holbert back in a punt formation here. We'll see what he decides to do. And he may just he may just run around and try to run the clock out. He will kick it away. It's a high short kick. Comes down at the 50. Rolls, rolls, rolls. Three, two, one. And finally going to be touched by Corby Campbell, but not before the clock runs out. Zero on the clock. That is the end of the game and the Mustangs, folks are two and oh. Well, now they're gonna, now we got officials coming across and they're gonna say put two seconds back on the clock. I guess not, that's not the ball. They'll say two seconds need to go back on the clock. So Valentine will have one more crack at it here. They're down by eight. They trail it 22 to 14. So Valentine still with life left. They'll scrimmage this one from the 49 yard line. Two seconds left. So two seconds left to go. Three wides to the wide side of the field for the Badgers. Kelber in the gun. Takes the snap and he'll drop back. Heaves it down the field as far as he can. Nice looking spiral and that one is gonna fall incomplete. And now the game is over. The Mustangs come out on top here, 22 to 14. Mustangs go to 2 and 0 on the season. Valentine falls to 1 and 1. Great game this evening. A little bit of excitement at the end, but the Mustangs come out victorious. We'll step aside and be back with a recap of all the scoring action after this from our sponsors. Gordon Superfoods is proud to sponsor Gordon Rushville Mustang football. 
Superfoods is a full-service grocery store that carries anything you might need. Check out the full-service meat department or satisfy your sweet tooth at the Sand Hills Bakery. They have tons of great deals weekly, and if you don't have a rewards card, be sure to get one today. Good luck, Mustangs, from Gordon Superfoods. These are exciting times here at New Holland Agriculture. Great tractors, awesome combines, incredible hay tools, and even an award-winning self-propelled sprayer. Innovative products, and a renewed commitment to people who really appreciate field smarts. Sounds like someone like you, doesn't it? Mustangs come out victorious in this one. Say thanks to sponsors of tonight's action. The First National Bank of Gordon, Husker Auto Parts, Strong Insurance, Gordon True Value, Bank of the West, Hens Home Furnishings, Gordon Vision Center, Bob Alcorn State Farm Insurance, Grocery Mart, Carol Child Accountant, Gordon Superfoods, Sides and Milburn Ford, Modern Farm Equipment, and the Sheridan County Journal Star. Let's take a look and how the action unfolded tonight. The Mustangs got an interception, the only turnover of the game. They got the interception on the first possession. Sean Combs picking off the pass. Mustangs put it in the end zone. That was Ethan Yanni going in, and the Mustangs led 6 to nothing with 8.06 left to go in the first quarter. Mustangs struck again at the 10-minute mark of the second quarter. That was Talon Peeper crashing over from one yard out. Two-point conversion was good this time, and it was 14 to nothing. That would be the score at the halftime. Mustangs took the opening drive of the third quarter, and they marched that one in the length of the field. They went uh, 79 yards with that drive, and Shane Child put that one in the end zone on a 63-yard touchdown strike, or touchdown run, excuse me, and that made the score 20 to nothing. Valentine started to put it together about midway through the third quarter. 6-18, uh, or excuse me, they put, uh, put a touchdown on the board and made it 20-7 with about 11 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. They got the ball again and scored again when the PAT was good. They made it 20-14 with 8.07 left in the fourth quarter. Both teams traded punts until the Mustangs were able to force a safety and extend their lead to 22 to 14. That's how the game would end. The Mustangs come out on top 22 to 14. They go to 2 and 0 on this young football season. Congratulations to the Gordon Rushville Mustangs. So we will be back in action on Thursday night in Bayard. The volleyball team will take on the Bayard Tigers. Mustangs will be in action. The uh, football team will be in action next Friday night when they travel to Bridgeport, and we, of course, will have that game as well. Until next time, Clint Anderson saying thank you for tuning in to Sheridan County Journal Star.net coverage of Mustang Football 2015.